Hey guys, how's it going? So uh, today I think we might try to get one of these edgers going. Um, I've got two that are about the same. I think we might try to get this one going. Um, you can see it's been sitting a long time. So uh, let's go see if we can get this thing running today. This is a McLean three horsepower Briggs and Stratton uh, edger. Pretty heavy duty edger. Uh, it's got double wheels up front. It's pretty heavy duty. Let's see if it has any gas in it. This is, yeah, it's got some gas in it. Looks pretty clean in the tank. Um, I picked this edger up. Uh, the person just said it's been sitting a long time and uh, it won't start. Pulls over. I'm assuming it just needs a carb clean, but uh, we will get into it and see what it all needs. Let's start by just blowing some of this junk off. Let's uh, see if this thing has spark. Be a good start. Just a tad bit burnt. Piston looks good. I think I'm gonna just stick a little bit of uh, mystery oil down there been sitting that's gonna make it smoke a little bit at the start okay um move that around a little bit yeah it's got compression get the spark plug back on and make sure it's got spark. good got spark I don't know if you guys can see that but it's got spark so uh, let's uh, pop this cover off and see how the card looks Nice air cleaner. Yeah, so these, this is a pretty simple uh, setup. So the carburetor actually gets basically mounted down into the gas tank. And so um, it's just like a couple of screws and the whole assembly comes apart from the gas tank. So I think we're gonna pull that off. We can drain the gas in it and uh, Get this cleaned up. Let's get the throttle linkage off. Mm. Actually, I might not even have to do it all the way off. Strange type of screws. I need to get a smaller screw Okay, 
Okay, so it's just these two flathead screws that hold the gas tank onto the carburetor. There's no fuel lines or anything. It's just, it's kind of a nice system actually because it's so simple that it's super quick to clean out. And, and then it's got this long, long tube that goes down in the tank. So there it is, it's just like that. Let's get that bad gas and drained out. Yeah, I don't think it should be yellow. Inside the tank though, it looks pretty clean. So I think we're just gonna Probably just leave the inside, it looks nice, and then uh, just clean up some of this dirt around it. Just try not to get any dirt down in there. There's not much you can do on these carbs to clean them. Um, it's basically just like it picks it up from the bottom. Like I don't even think this uh, might be able to pop this off, but I don't want to break it. So I think I'm just going to spray a little carb clean in it. Spray some air up through the passages. And I think it should be good. Not much to these carbs. Okay, let's get this cover back on and uh, should be good to start this thing up. Let's see, how's it going? I think it goes on like this. Let's add a little bit of gas. See if this thing will start. Okay, we're gonna go fast. I think it has choke right now. I think there's a choke, there's a choke that you can pull out down here also. Let's try that. Awesome, so it runs. Um, let's uh, check the oil in this 
and then uh, we'll clean it up a little bit and uh, go test it out on the front lawn. The dipstick's right down in here. It's covered in dirt and stuff again. Just trying to get all that stuff out of there so it doesn't go down in there. I think it I think it has some. Yeah, it's pretty dirty though. Um we might clean that out. Put some fresh stuff in, but for now I think we're just gonna go run it, see uh how it cuts and then uh we can put some fresh stuff in. I'm gonna just drain this oil out quick. It looked pretty black, so uh, we just want it to run good, so. Wrong size. Let's see. Might be able to just get it with some vice grips. Yeah, that stuff's pretty dark. So I'm just gonna let that drain out for a little bit and then we'll put some fresh stuff in and uh, go see how this thing cuts. Okay, time to put some fresh stuff in. Not sure how much this takes, but I don't think it'll take that much. So I'm going to get this built up and then uh, let's go get this thing out front and test it out. Okay, let's see if this thing starts. It's cold.
actually uh, runs pretty good and uh, cuts a nice line and everything. So I think we're just going to get this thing cleaned up quick and uh, wrap this video up. Well, this little McLean Edger cleaned up nice. Um, pretty nice little machine. I think uh, a lot of the Briggs and Stratton Edgers had this set up with the carburetor into the gas tank on it. So hopefully that will help some of you guys who their Edger doesn't start. And uh, it's a pretty simple fix. See if it'll start one last time. Oops. So yeah, that's gonna wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you on the next one.